to two troubling developments in the fight against COVID-19. We uncovered a spike in the past week of the fast spreading variants and concerns growing about people not getting the vaccine. We have a team of reporters working both stories. Let's start with Chris Tai, who's been tracking the variants. Chris. Erica, experts say there's a new facility just opened in Chicago that's doing more and better tracking of these variants. The bad news, experts say, they are simply easier to spread. They are more potent. The good news is they can still be stopped cold with the use of vaccine. The first case of the UK variant flew into Illinois from a passenger fresh from the Mideast and the UK in January. Around that time, the head of infectious diseases at the University of Chicago told us this was the topic that kept her up at night. There is the risk of these new variants are somewhere on the horizon. Well, the horizon is here. Spread was slow in the weeks after that first January case, but skyrocketing since Illinois now totaling 794 cases, up 31% in just one week. Even I was not prepared for how incredible incredibly aggressive and unforgiving they are. Unforgiving because those with the UK strain breathe out twice as much of the virus than typical COVID patients. And getting sick from it requires half the exposure of the ordinary strand. So you can imagine if you've got somebody making twice as much COVID and you only need half as much to get sick, the likelihood that anybody's gonna get infected in any given circumstance goes up a lot. The best defense, getting vaccinated and waiting two full weeks after your last shot to relax your behavior. And that means you've got a six week runway in order to become really able to fight these things off. Highest risk, the unvaccinated elderly and overeager young people just becoming eligible for vaccine. She hopes the J&J &J delay will last just a few days, any longer. And the shield to protect Illinois could get substantially weaker that you need to be more careful because these variants are more contagious. And a big picture reminder from Dr. Landon today, her advice to you and to me is if you are not fully vaccinated, she says you should not be going and dining inside restaurants or drinking inside bars. Erica, she even says you should not be attending sporting events to view them unless you're wearing a mask. Yeah, Chris, we also heard Dr. Landon say she hopes the Johnson & Johnson delay will only last a few days. Yeah, she is optimistic that that will happen late today. We got word from the CDC that they are trying to pinpoint who is most at risk inside the J&J &J camp. They haven't isolated it yet, but they hope to possibly by the end of the week, relax the rules and get J&J &J back on the market. Of course, we'll stay on top of that too. All right, thank you.